this video is talking about the concept of expected value. Expected value is just another way to say average, but it's the average for a probability distribution. Generically, we'd say the expected value of x is the mean for x. Um, for this particular type of probability distribution, which is a discrete probability distribution, we're going to use this formula here, which is the sum of x times p of x. The sum of x times p of x. So don't let that intimidate you in any way. It's actually really quite easy. I'm going to demonstrate how it's done here. So a lot of times we prefer um, to work with you know, real problems with context. Because right now, this is just a bunch of numbers. It doesn't have much meaning. So it's OK. We don't have to worry about that right now, what these numbers represent. Let's just work out the calculation. And in another video, we'll look at um, problems that actually have context. So it'll be a little more interesting. But let's just see the mechanics of the problem, how you do the calculation. So probability distributions always come up with an x column. They always come with a p of x column. What we want to do now is multiply them straight across. So we're going to take care of the multiplication first. And then afterwards, we will add which of course is appropriate by order of operations, right? You always do the multiplying first, and then you do the addition. So I'm going to create a new column on this chart here called x times p of x. And it just means we're going to go straight across multiplying. That's it. So for example, 0 times 0 0.10 is going to be 0, right? 0 times anything is 0. 1 times 0 0.30 is going to give me 0 0.30. And then this last one, 2 times 0 0.60, that's going to end up giving me 1.20. Okay, so now I've done all my multiplication. So I've calculated the x times p of x for every single row in the table, right? The last thing I have to do is add it up. And when I finish that sum, I will have calculated the mean. So add this up, you get 0, of course, 5 there. Carry your decimal point, 1, 1.50 becomes your mean. So the mean for this particular probability distribution. In other words, the average value is going to be 1.50. So if this was some kind of event or experiment, if you ran it over and over again, the average outcome you would see is 1.5, basically. That's it.